Hi guys, it's Jana and today I am giving you an update for the succulent garden in my yard for almost two months now. So, here is the Euphorbia milii that I have um, transferred in this area. It wasn't doing well in the other side, but still in the west side here, but this is the side where it only gets hit with afternoon sun around one o'clock so it gets shade for most of the day so here is the um, milii with more leaves growing so it is happy yay it's happy in the side <laughs> i am glad because i thought it was going to die so this one here um this one my fred eyes doing okay doing happy here here are my survivor plants <laughs> it's actually what i'm showing you what made it this halfway of the summer so this one is doing good that's doing good um the petal plant doesn't look so happy but i'm just observing them the others were doing good so i don't know what's going on with this one but leaving them alone this kind of got soft right here but the other leaves are firm, so well, it might make it. I'm gonna show you this one. I don't know if I showed you this before, but maybe it was so tiny. But this one is getting so lush. It, this is the Pedilanthus plant, and it is growing happily this summer. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my dead bromeliad. Not um not dead, but it has a baby. I'm gonna show you the baby the baby right here so i did not take away the mama plant yet because baby is growing underneath there but i lost the other bromelia that was dying that side here but look at this um this plant is growing happy that's growing happy there helen coe is doing happy and mostly the jades are happy plants this summer this Echeverias or um, Graptopetalum is not so happy, but it made it. Halfway through the summer, guys, almost over. One more month. Um, not really. One and a half more month. <laughs> uh, way, way more heat coming up. But so far, doing good. Here's more jades. Cullen Coe. Other plants here doing good. This one's doing good. These babies are doing awesome they're happy um the ones that i planted the taller plants that i planted to kind of shade them when it gets hit with some some afternoon sun it kind of protected protected these plants i'm talking fast again so it did protected this plants so they're happy look at this they're happy right there some burnt leaves but that's not bad but look at this kalankoe guys the lavender scallops kalankoe look at all the babies on the stem it's windy oh it's shaking <laughs> but look at this this kalankoe has gotten so tall i probably would do cut this one day because this is what i did before it got so tall that i cut some and then replanted them back on ground but i see a lot of black stuff on it though but hopefully it's not gonna spread or else i'm gonna have to cut them leaves and look at this guys i'm gonna show you this beautiful beautiful leaf look at that it's all like white and pink and this one that one half white half pink leaf so pretty how pretty <laughs> oh my goodness i love it it's so pretty and they're just hiding underneath there it's so cute and this one is happy again and my variegated paddle plant is so happy and here's my um duster rose in the agave it's so big and this other plant here too they're doing good these are not happy <laughs> too much rain look at this oh but it will revive um it will be okay they will be happy because some of the leaves are healthy for the new growth 
So that should be okay. Here is the honor. Kellen Coe is happy. And this is gotten so big. If you watch my other video, um, I will link it down here in a little bit. This was so tiny. I made it, um, I, I purposely planted it here. That way it will um, shade this babies. And it did protect this babies, you guys. Look at this baby. They normally would burn from the leaf. You would see go brown and burn from too much heat and rain. It would be just like that. It's all of them, like, like this in the sides here but with this shading off during the afternoon heat in the west side this is happy guys and the flower look at the flower so pretty i'm so excited i just can't wait um to bloom yet fully look at how pretty this is just what makes me love about succulents because they just have those pretty flowers and the rosettes itself is just so beautiful and look at the other plants here they're doing good because they're protected from too much heat and here is my biggest biggest petal plant <laughs> this is the biggest one so there's three of them here you could totally um see if you watch if you've been watching my videos the difference of this babies and are happy it is a little bit soft on this side but other than that it's a happy plant it gotten big and the stem is um still um firm so that's good sign other leaves are happy and firm i just love the heart shape of these leaves look at that so pretty and um the aloe is doing good and gotten big and all the leaves here i tried to pull this out but i can't so hard um still stuck to the stem so here's the other agave i don't know the name of that one um this plant's doing good still here's another milii um the leaves again here are getting so big and covering these babies uh, you know guys i know this is gonna get so big one day so this is just temporary really um shading this baby so i'm gonna have to do more work soon probably fall season um kind of moving them or maybe trim this that way it will get some sunlight in fall season this um succulents in the bottom but these are doing good and here's another of my variegated petal plant i had lost some of this um campfires but the babies came up and grew so in winter time this will get red and here's my melotis and here is my aloe survivor guys these plants are survivor in this east no eat not east west side of my yard and here are the other um i don't know this is gold so i don't know what type of not serum this is not california sunset but something i don't know let me know if you know the name and here is the painted lady some is a little not looking good and the others are good so i'm just leaving them alone for right now because um well i'm gonna pull this up see this is probably gonna fall off but the others were happy so i'm leaving that alone so that's happy too i don't want to pull that one out and this is happy and here is my uh, other plant so happy right here look at how much this has crawled look at i want it to crawl all over the ground before i move them and here's my other agave here's the baby paddle plant that has grown getting big i see some ants crawling but i cannot control it right now um here's the other one that i got from the garage sale and there's this copper spoons another one here this guy got babies 
And here's my other campfires. Um, what else I'm gonna show you? Yeah, I did lost some of my camellias that was here and this side of the ground. And look at this, Kalankoe is growing. A lot of brown leaves on this plant right here, but doing okay. And this plant, I'm gonna show you. Look at the beautiful flower of this lily, canna lily. This is what it's called. And I have a fern growing right there. <laughs> Okay, well, some squirrel dug up my plant right here. Bad squirrel, huh? They always do that. I don't know why. So, um, some other plants died that were on it, but, well, I, have a, I can just replace them. But here is, I'm going to go back in this side. You see that bromelia there. And here's the other bromelia, guys, with two babies. So, got that. In here so I lost some and I gained some <laughs> uh, and here um, my Kalankoe Marneriana growing happily and this bush is growing happily needs trimming needs a haircut guys needs a haircut on this so here are this is a spur of my grass that I just pulled growing here um, more weeds too and i see a mealy bug oh look at that guys weeds and mealy bug at the same time gross well i'm gonna have to spray this with um water in some soapy i did some soap before got rid of the plants soapy mixture and then mealy bug i always use alcohol but here's my california sunsets a total awesome survivors for any season happy plants they change color in winter in summer again this this right now this is what they look like Hold over and there's the other another one right here and well this flower and this not looking good i probably need to take this off and the babies right here see the babies Babies are growing, but not looking so good. Um, you know, this tree, I put them in here to shade my plants, which it did its purpose, my purpose. <laughs> but the leaves are falling on my baby. So what I do is that I'll just get the biggest blower <laughs> I have and blow them out and to get rid of, to get rid of those leaves on my succulents but it did its purpose for um my my purpose of giving my plants some shade this summer and other than that this other one is not so happy but it will survive because see the inside rosettes are are still green and healthy so it will recover and i love this one you guys i love this one that's a pretty one and this is having flowers and here is my aloe it bloomed and it bloomed again i didn't take a picture of the other one but this one bloomed again this one got some damage from the heat because it's variegated but it will recover some got tall i don't want to trim them um, here's my croutons and most of all my precious precious um rosemary plants and here are some of my uh, what you call this purple hearts i have some in the back they don't really like too much heat so it likes a shady area so my east side of this are growing wild and this side my my experiment my observation here is not so good in this area because they don't like too much heat so spring is when they grow um summer not so happy but um it it will survive i just moved this this spring in this side here so mine in the back in the east side are doing good all year round and these are the cuttings that i put in here um, this spring season and here's my other one the oyster plants are getting so big they are getting more and more babies underneath there 
so happy plant aloe's happy um, more of my more of my um um what you call this rosemary so mosquitoes hates me guys or loves me and i hate them so when i come out here and in the backyard i just lightly touch this like that and it gives it smell and it, it repels bugs you guys so i love the smell anyways but i my hands get a little bit sticky from the leaves but hey if you don't get bugs biting you while well, while enjoying the garden with this beautiful scent why not right i just i love this and i give some of the cuttings away to my neighbors and friends too um here's my canna lily of the pot are big like this one she's happy but he just needs more water and here are i guess that's it that's all of them you guys these are all of my babies i'm walking too fast again well it's hot over there so here i'm just gonna sit here so they are happy so these are just an update of this plant and i'm glad that that this little taller plants that i did to shade them this summer works and i will do my my hand my hand my son is jumping around and um he's catching what are you catching he's catching bugs <laughs> is it bugs huh? that sticky hand from the like, plant oh the rosemary okay well you guys um well this is it for now and i will do another update soon and what i'm gonna add to this area in the fall season when the winter comes i like planting some in ground too because florida here doesn't get so hot so well this is all for now and i thank you so much for watching and if you have any suggestions and you know just comment me down below and let me know what else I can do to help my garden suggestion about saving my plants too and, and what you guys do to um, protect your garden okay thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you next time bye bye happy planting